You are live. Hello, everybody. Let me get the... Uh, shut this down here once it fires up. What the buck? Hey, Tony and Scarlet. Welcome, buckaroos. Hello, John. Good to see you. I know it's I started it, but it's... <laughs> Oh, we'll just have an echo going on. I am live, ain't I? Let me check. Yep, I'm live. All right, cool. We're here. There we go. I know it's a couple weeks since I did one. Uh, that's mainly because I've been working overtime. Uh, but this weekend I have off because of uh, Easter. Plus, they're upgrading the a system at work too, so we had some had some time off. Cruda, that's right. Hello, unfinished project. Hello, Mohawk. The buckaroos and what the buck. So, uh, and uh, I saw uh, I was. Uh, I was able to participate in John's live last night, finally, because I wasn't working. And then uh, I uh, I figured, well, I'll, I'll shoot in here. There really hasn't been much progress with the um, with the under 500 crew. Not that I noticed anyway, but uh, I haven't been uh, I haven't been watching much YouTube lately and uh, participating in any lives or anything, except for last night, of course. So you have to excuse me. I just, I just woke up like 10 minutes ago. I almost slept through this one. So um, we also got another another contender. Last night, RT211, he just joined the joined the 500 group, the race to 500 um, for the no-name nationals. That was a pretty good live last night. There was a whole lot of neat stuff going on, a whole lot of neat conversation. <laughs> Hi, Buck, Tony, Scarlett, Mohawk, welcome. Yes, I'm unfinished. Yeah, I can't believe those guys they won't post any content. A little bits here and there. Um, you know, last night they were the question was, you know, uh, what would you tell a newcomer um, to the to the to the panels? And, uh, and you know, what I was thinking was, uh, man, post a video every day, maybe two or three sometimes, because um, you know, last when when I first got fired up in here uh um no name nationals uh it was uh i think it was cletus stuff with cletus hello colleen hello jb oh buck it's buck <laughs> hello mater well cletus put out his uh, uh he said shorts work and uh there's there's rt211 he's new to the new to the group thank you unfinished project and he put out a, uh, um, I don't know how to, I don't know the word for it, but anyway, he was like, do 50 shorts of 50 days and see how, see how, uh, how many subscribers you get. And I said, Hey, I could do that. So I'm like, well, how do you, how do, you do a short? So I just start looking around at people's shorts and watch the shorts and you know, I start putting a short out every day. Sometimes, well, that was after about two weeks or so, I, I I I saw him on a live or something, a challenge. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Unfinished Project. So after like two weeks, I, I saw Cletus and uh, I told him, I said, yeah, I was putting them out every day. I said, I got, I got like seven or eight or something like that. And he said, well, it's just maybe you want to put two or three out. And I said, huh, I didn't think of that. So I did that for 
I did at least a short a day for almost two years, a little under two years. And then I finally laid off just to see how, how things would, would uh, settle down. And they did. They settled down. And then just recently, I just start putting shorts out again, and then boom, I start climbing again. <laughs> But you got to have the videos out there in order to get the subscribers. Um, I, know, I know there's some people out there just do one or two videos and they, they get a whole, whole bunch of subscribers. I mean, I'm one of them. I got a whole bunch of subscribers just from two videos. Um, but, you know, which videos are they? I That I don't know. You know, because uh, another thing I used to say all the time was, uh, you know, YouTube YouTube's not looking, uh, YouTube, how the hell is that? YouTube's not looking, uh, can't remember. But anyway, YouTube's looking for viewers. They're looking for videos for, for what the viewers are looking for. They're not looking for viewers for your videos. They're looking for videos for the view, for the audience that they have. So, and that's where your uh, um, your title comes in, and your your description, all those keywords, you know, the hashtags, the, uh, the tags, all that stuff comes in comes in from searches. Just like that one video I just had go crazy was with the Rustoleum Turbo Can, and a lot of that came from people searching Rustoleum tur Turbo Can. I think it was Turbo Can or just Rustoleum, but I had that in the in the title, and uh, that went crazy. Hey, there's Dancing Alone with Rentals. Hello, Dancing Alone. Hey, just everybody saying hi to everybody here. All right. Okay. Now that I got confused, Dar Roxanne. Roxanne, you don't have to put on the red light. All right, I'll stop singing. Um. So let's go take a look at these uh, channels again. I know. Uh, Let's present. Present. There's John Wilburn's channel. Right. Um, everything happens. Anything that goes along with uh, you nailed it, Buck. Hey, thank you. Uh, anything that goes on with the No Name Nationals. This is the official site of the No Name Nationals. John Wilburn. Uh, you have any questions, comments, or concerns? You can always. View his email address here, john at princetondragway.com. Right here, john at princetondragway.com. You can email him. This here is the is the site where you can go and sign up for the No Name Nationals if you want to. Um, you can be, get a spectator ticket or you can get a registration ticket. And in order to participate in the No Name Nationals, you got to have 500 subscribers to uh participate in, in the events that go on uh, but you can you can register and if you don't get your 500 you can still come to the event and uh but you just can't participate uh, you can bring your car bring your project you can showcase it um so with that, what's uh Mater got to say here? What well, does it since I'm back at to work? I'll be building the mini top fuel predator B twin dragster. Uh oh, look out! There's John Wilburn's link. Thank you, Unfinished Project. There's Dancing Alone's link. So, anyway. 
Uh, that's John Wilburn's channel. Uh, another thing I want to show you in here is his live tab. And if you go back, go back a while, just go and look for these. There, hey, there's Buck. Um, content creator workshops, right? Go back the year before, there was a bunch of them. Uh, there's a whole lot of good information in there about about titles and descriptions and and uh, editing software and editing and uh, different things. Uh, there's a lot of good information in those lives. So go check those out. Um, all right, we're all caught up. Absurd Ty Higgins. You know what? This van here, I saw this van at the No Name Nationals last year. I was like, man, that was a nice van. I wonder whose that is. <laughs> and then uh, I saw that he joined the uh, – he, he joined the, uh, the No Name Nationals, and I saw the van. I saw oh, that's what that was. Because when when I was at the event, it's still uh, so get to uh, get there at the at the event. There's a. Uh, so much stuff going on. It just and it's such a such a good time that that I didn't get to, I didn't get to see everybody. I thought I did, but I didn't. Um, I heard hello, John Wilburn. Buck, let's do another content creator workshop in April. Want to get back from PA? All right, let's do it. Uh, yeah, we can do that. So anyway, um, where, was I, where was I at? Okay, I was that, talking about that van being there, and I didn't get to see who owned it. I did see a lot of other people. Um, yeah, see here, here, he has a little short here, right here, of uh, Hot Rod Guy Garage. Has a little uh, 3,800... 3, Geo Metro. That little thing was fast. In perfect work, working order. Hey, he's a tattoo artist. Here he had the pleasure of meeting uh, RC Industries. At No Name Nationals. Road to, road to a million subs. He's been doing, uh, doing a video every day. Day six, seven. Seven and eight, nine, ten, eleven, oh, two weeks ago. So he, he fell off there too. All right. But anyway, um, let's see if I'm here. We're getting back from PA. I guess that's great too. How about 421? That's the weekend after I'm up your way. Yeah, that's that's good, John. I'll uh I'll, I'll keep that date open. So I'm available. I think you used to do it on a Sunday, didn't you? But here's uh Ty Higgins, professional tattoo artist based in Nashville. Here you'll find gaming videos, tattoos I've made, and car projects galore. And join me on my quest to 500 subscribers so I can race at the No Name Nationals 2024. That is a Saturday, a Sunday. That is a Sunday. Okay, cool. What's he say here? As busy as John is, he's still finding side guests. <laughs> Yeah, did we get, uh, let me put his link up. I don't know if we got it up there or not yet. Let's see if I can beat Unfinished Project. 
paste YouTube absurd Ty Higgins and in his videos like I said he was doing a, a road to a million subs he was taking a walk every day and he was doing a video I thought that was pretty cool but I fell off here three weeks ago I didn't get to see 10 or 11 you can see, if you see that red line there, I mean, just you saw it or you, you played it. And down in here somewhere he had a, the, there he was going for a, Houston, we have no motor. There's a preparing for the machine shop with Nick the Van Man. <laughs> but he had a Volkswagen. Uh, like a doom buggy. Let me see if I can find it here. Oh, yeah, see, there's several Tom's car. He had videos last year. There's uh, the knuckle duster. There's the brat fink from last year. And uh, there's, um, there's, uh, I think that one's Dallas, isn't it? That one's Dallas, and then that one's, um, Oh, what's his name? <laughs> I have to go find out. Troy. Technician Troy. That's it. Thank you, John. That was some videos from last year. So anyway, go check out Ty Higgins, absurd Ty Higgins. He's at 474. He only needs 26 subscribers. I see John posted up here, RT211 Racing. Yeah, I have him in the list here tonight, John. Nice guy, quick car. Check him out. Full auto AK is his favorite gender. <laughs> Troy. Yes, Mohawk he does. I think it's a ni really nice challenger. Hey, there's Mr. Uh, Lars. Hello, Lars. Howdy, y'all. All right. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Hello, everybody. <laughs> I hit the wrong button. We'll get her straightened out here as soon as I find my mouse. Oh, that's why. I lost it completely, people. Hang on. Hey, there's Levi. Hello, Levi. Hey, Rich GT350. Hello, Rich. Good to see you. He's watching. All right. Let me get back on track here. There we go. Hey, there, we're back on John Wilburn's channel. That, that's where we belong. That was Ty Higgins we just looked at. Next up is Buff Del Campo. Buff's been around a while. Um, he just jumped into the mix this year. I think it was this year. Uh, Buff is, uh, we work in and out of a small home shop, mostly automotive, but sometimes tools or equipment. Yeah, 
Now, Buff's been doing lives. Him and uh, Kim Fixes Things have been doing lives. He had a dinosaur behind him. And... <laughs> oh, yeah, that was just the same thing. Okay. This is the one he did with all the, the, the license plates. It was a happy birthday live. He has a lot of cool videos. <laughs> okay, what's that? The, the top secret project will go to Lars first. He wants to put some canned peaches in it. <laughs> Yeah, that he, that he has to that he found in the toolbox, or underneath the 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 seat of the tractor. That was pretty cool. Great stuff from Kim. Narrowing an axle for a Dodge Dart. Uh, carbon fiber and carving out a new part. Um, Breaking apart and testing the layup from yesterday. Lightweight, strong foam and fiberglass. And look at that. I need to look, I need to watch that one. Color match base paint. Dashboard completely apart, every light disabled. Disassembled rather, not disabled. Kim fixes his motor that wasn't broken. Now it's broken. <laughs> yeah, a whole bunch of uh, slant six. Yeah, here the slant is in. Had a whole bunch of videos on, on doing the slant six. Installing the oil pump. Time and chain on the slant six, crankshaft installation, pistons. And then finally, uh, the install. Do it right. No, do it twice. Engine in, engine out, engine in. <laughs> All right, that's Buff Del Campo. He's at 389 subscribers. He needs 111. Got 94 videos out there. Did I miss 162 coming in? Yeah, there he is. Hello, 162. Looking better every day. Yeah. That's for sure. I just keep chipping away at it, Jeffro. Thank you. called peach cobbler oh what's uh, uh java have his uh car for sale now i'll just <laughs> all right Make sure you go check out Buff Del Campo. We'll put his link up here one more time. There's Functional History. Sorry I'm late. I'm rearranging the shop for summertime. And I are live on Monday. Jeez, I'm winded. It don't take much for you to get winded, does it there, Vic? I know it don't take much for me anymore. All right. Yeah, I think that's what they call, uh, what's his name? Jabba. Jabba the Hutt or Jabba or something. <laughs> I think that's what I heard. I haven't ever, I haven't, I've, uh, I've blocked and uh, unsubscribed that lad ever since that time with the, uh, with the auto salvage, I didn't. I didn't. Need, I don't need to see any of that stuff. 
Hey there, Smoke Ranch. Hello, Smoker. Sup. All right, who's up next? Indirect connection keeps climbing up there. <laughs> no, I'm chunky and old. Hey, Todd. I missed the auto car short. This is Jason. Indirect connection. Let's put his link up here. Paste. Doop -doop -doop. IDC's channel is great. He should definitely have more subs. Hey, there's 38 special. Hello, 38. Racer. Good evening, all. How's everyone? Good Saturday. Oh, not bad. I was playing in the garage all day. Oh, well, yeah, I could say all day. With the old dreaded body work. But I got to do something until I build up some more cash. Build up some more cash and order some more parts. <sighs> Hey, Constitutional Corner. Hello, Sean boy. Yeah, I wanted to call you today and uh, and just never did. I got tangled up with everything else. I'll give you a call tomorrow. All right, this here is Indirect Connections About page. Uh, welcome to the Indirect Connection. This channel will cover most of my junk, including the 66 Satellite, 67 Bel Air, 65 Valiant. An occasional ATV trip mods and reviews to my daily 2020 Ram. I'm also on another channel, Rabbit Transit Garage, with my brother from another mother, Jay. I will continue building stuff on that channel as well as Jay will visit here. Thanks for watching and remember to like, share, and subscribe. Excuse me. That's, that's Jason's uh, about page. He has a bunch of shorts out there, a little short videos, a uh, voltage limiter test, the first start of the 67 Plymouth Belvedere this year, race prep, the poly. This ain't good shorts, spark plugs. He was uh, teaching the next generation a trick <laughs> with the Chrysler 300 he got. That's for, I, I like that car. It's a neat car. Ryan 1500 sway bar link and bushing replacement. He was checking out a a, a rusty crusty challenger. Uh, he was open his prize from BRG Bus Radio Garage. There's the satellite headlight switch. It was melted. You gotta watch that with the older older vehicles. Let's see what other kind of shorts he got going on here. Stepping in it again. This is strange. Should I replace this before power tour? Uh oh. There we go. Lost my lost my screen. She's plugged. You gotta watch the oh look at there's the eight tracks. Name that tune. Where was this video? He had a video. Oh yeah, this one right here, accessing the junkyard Mopar. Then the, the core engine is broken. Those are pretty good videos. He has a 400 big block. I lucked out compared to what he has. All right, that's indirect connection. He has 279 subscribers. He needs 200 and 
21. Yes, they are Mohawk. I actually, uh, I actually got the race, uh, Jason and his Belvedere with the buck. Um, I think, uh, Big Mike's Hoopty Barn put a challenge out or something like that. And, uh, Austin from, uh, Daddy's Money Garage raced them. And then the winner of that one had a race, Jason. And the winner of that one had a, I raced the winner of that one or something like that. I forget what it was. We had a whole lot, a whole lot of fun doing that. That was fun. And hope to do that again. Um, just go down there and call, call each other out. Or make a challenge. That's what that's what uh, uh, Big Mike did. He made a challenge. He wanted to race somebody, and then the winner got it. I think the winner of the the series or something got a, a Big Mike's Hoopty Barn T-shirt. That was fun. So make sure you check out Indirect Connection. He's more than halfway there. Put his link up one more time. All right. Back to John's channel. Riley's junkyard and petting zoo. I never got I never got to ask him where he comes up comes up with the petting zoo. Unless he has a farm. But apparently he's they live close to where I live. I was uh, I was on a live with Testa one night, and uh, he was saying he was telling me he says, "Hey, Buck lives there in uh, in Lebanon, so I don't think I'm far away from these guys. I'll have to find out sometime." But all my time has been running together lately. So let's see here. You got a '72 Skylark with a 427 four-speed, '69 Electra. 81 Trans Am, Pace Car, 71 F100, and numerous other adventures. Streams every first and third Friday from 10 p.m. to whenever. Moon Runners, whatever that means. He got 277 subscribers. He needs 223. Let's look at his videos. I know he just got. Uh, 427 gets a paint job. Uh, him and Useful Entertainment were working on it. I think this one here, 427 is coming together. Got the 427 back. From uh, I didn't get to watch the whole thing, but I imagine he got it back from the machine shop. And then they start putting it together. Him and Useful Entertainment. And then uh, they just, uh, just got a paint job there. He was playing around in the snow with the snow lark instead of the skylark. I never thought about that. I could have a buck snow lark and go play in the snow. And oh, there's the skylark there. I like those electors though, too. Those are pretty cool. This Buick hates me. <laughs> Chris's brand new paint job. Is that Testa? Yeah, yeah, that's Testa's. Firebird. Fixing the Skylark's carburetor. This 450, 454 is a hot, rusty mess. So that's where he started with the 4, 454. And then uh, imagine up here is when he got it back. The fifteen hundred dollar four twenty seven at four speed. Okay. This car gets a new plant and trans. There's your hot rod cruise. That ain't far from me. I think he did the Lebanon one too. Yeah, here's the Lebanon cruise. That's where I live in Lebanon. Hey, there's Justin Hill. Hello, Justin Hill. Oh, okay. 
Moon Runners is a movie. The Dukes of Hatters is based off of it. All right. And there's 6%. Hello, 6%. I saw they had a, a, a premiere. Him and Functional Histories had a premiere yesterday, but I never got to watch it. Funk. What's up, Funk? Funk up Mohawk. <laughs> there's Ollie's Garage. Hello, Ollie's. Hey, Buck and everyone. Just listening while I'm in, working the shop. All right, Ollie, thanks for listening. Spring Carlisle. I'm supposed to go there this this uh, next month. I think Spring Spring Carlisle this year is uh, April 17th to the 21st or something like that. I'm going to try to get over there and see if I see any uh, goodies I might need. I might be able to pick them up cheaper than uh, buying new. You know, like, I mean, I, mean, I need tires for the, for the Cruda. Radiator I'll order new. Um, I need some battery cable. So, I, um, and I probably just ordered that new. I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a couple extra butter bucks over at new. But I'm only I'm about two foot short on the cable I have. Oh, Vermeer, hello. Scott did ninety percent, ninety three percent of the work, and we got to paint it. Thinking about outsourcing my body work to him. <laughs> yeah, functional histories and I collab collaborated on building my Honchero project in Hot Wheels form. Yes, Carlisle. Yep, you know, where, where we saw you with the red hat. Yep, uh, I think it's a big swap meet. Spring at Carlisle. Spring, Spring Carlisle. I think that's what it is. I don't know. I'm like, I didn't look into it. Hey, there's Mark's Garage Channel. Hello, everyone. I went to Carlisle last year on the way home from No Name Nationals. Cool. Yeah, I was there for uh, Chrysler's at Carlisle the last two years. Um, I used to go there every now and then, but I haven't been there in a long time. And then I met up with John and, and uh, the one I the one I cat the year before last. And then last year I met up with my nephew. <laughs> Unfinished project has no red hat here. Well, then I was looking at somebody else then, but I think it was you. Anyway, uh, and there's, there's Mark. Hello, Mark. Bigfoot some Mopars. <laughs> Look, it's going so fast. And well, you know what? Vic, it might seem fast to you, but it's slow to me, buddy. Hey, there's one I cats. Yeah, we are gonna have to do another one. Yeah, wait till I put her together and, and uh I'm working on the front end now, getting the fenders and all fitted up. Once I get all that straightened out, then then uh then we'll get some pictures to you and get another one done. You know, like uh we'll do we'll do them in, in phases. Oh, the one I took to the to the machine shop. No, not yet. He told me like two weeks. I think that one's going to be fine. I just want to. I just want to make sure. Um, I want to see how much I have to board out to clean everything up, and then make my decision on what to do from there. If it don't need much, then well, I don't know what I'll do. That, that's up in the air yet. We'll, we'll figure it out. I'll, I'll let you know. All right, this here was Riley's uh, Junkyard Petting Zoo. Oh, that's in direct connection. Let me uh, get rid of that. I never put his link up. Hang on.
There's Riley's link right here. Riley's Junkyard Petting Zoo. Go check him out. He needs uh, 223 subscribers. Me and Ron are burning crap. Burning everything. <laughs> Burn it up. Uh, hey, hey, Mark, are you coming back down to No Name Nationals again? I sold the one I had last year. Need to find a camper in time. Well, you got uh, a few months there, Mark. I hope you find one, and I hope to see you again. That was a nice surprise last year. I never, I didn't expect you. So Tilly, Tilly has a school. Yeah, I saw, I saw the school. Yeah, and and uh, he he's supposed to live close to me, um, and I haven't uh, haven't reached out to uh, talk to him yet. Um, because Testa's only uh, Testa Speed Shop, Chris, which he's friends with, is only like 35 miles from me too. So I I, I haven't got over to uh, Riley, not Tilly. <laughs> Riley. Yeah, I have to get I have to get a hold of them guys. I'll have to send them an email or something someday. Um, and uh, maybe we can do uh, do a little video together. I have to get over to see Testa too, because uh, um, he lives close to my nephew. He knows my nephew too. Yes, Mark, I enjoyed meeting everyone too, and and yourself, and hope to meet you again. Maybe one of these days you can bring that uh, forty-seven GMC, right? I think it was a forty-seven. All right, that's Riley's Junkyard and Petting Zoo. Make sure you check them out. Uh, they're on the road to 500. Now, where are we at? Oh, Engine Light Garage. He just joined a, little, a couple weeks ago. It's not check Engine Light Garage either, just Engine Light. Uh, What's he got on his about page here? About where we like to, where we play with cars and other random stuff. He's got 232 subscribers. He needs uh, 268. Hey, everyone's up here. I already got my sub. Sorry, guys. I did that twice if you could. Excuse me. Yes, uh, but there's other, uh, thank you, Functional Histories. But some people go back and watch watch the live. And then and don't forget that I have uh, I have all the, the links to all the channels in my uh, description for this uh, live. So you can always, if you, if you miss one or want to check to see if you have them all, you can always go down there and hit the links. This is check engine or yeah, check engine like garage. <laughs> so he's trying to get Mopar Jeff 604 to register. He's at uh 429 subs. He's working on his 950 horsepower HO duster right now. Yeah, I saw some of his videos. I think I subscribed to him. Uh, last year sometime when, uh, I don't know if it's you or Mopar Joe, so, somebody was talking about Jeff 604. And uh, I'm sure I've subscribed to him. I'm going to go check. Um, just in case. And then we'll put his link up here too. Just in case uh, somebody... Didn't get to check them out yet. Oh, you know what? I, could, oh, I, I can't. Hang on. Mopar Al. Mopar Jeff 604. Yeah, I'm subscribed.
Copy. Stroker, stroker, stroker. Okay, okay, okay. That's most likely which way I'm going to go there, Mad Max. Mad Max. Here's the link for uh, Mopar Jeff 6042. Okay, who haven't I subscribed to? All right, let's uh let's go see there, Big Mike. Here's uh you probably ain't got um, Mopar Jeff six oh four two. Hey there, Stephen Paul. Hello, Stephen. Got you, Mopar Jeff. And how about let me go back here. This is where I want to go. Okay. Let's see. You got the Absurd Ty Higgins. I'll put the link up for you, Mike, just in case. We'll put them all up. You can check. Buff Del Campo. This will make it easier for you. There's Ty Higgins. Here's Buff Del Campo. How about indirect connection? You should have indirect connection. I'll put them up there anyway. And then we're on. Oh. So we really got two. How about Riley's Junkyard and Petting Zoo? And then, and then now we are at Check Engine Light Garage. Check Engine Light. <laughs> I got that on the brain now. There, there's, there's all of them we went through so far, Mike. And right now we're looking at check engine light garage. Oh, okay. Well, thanks for the info there, Mark. He's building my 63. He's taught me a lot, teaching me to race. So we can all learn something from uh, Mopar Jeff. Make sure you go check him out. Got all those guys. Okay, good. Yes, indirect connection is cool. I love those guys. They're funny, too. <laughs> Snacked and napped. Yeah, I took a nap today, too, Max. I was doing, uh, I was doing crew, to, crew to stuff. Sup, Bigfoot. All right, where we play with cars and other random stuff. But he just got this uh, 90, I think it's a 90 Ford. What did we just get? Got that Ford truck. There it is. I'm really loving this truck. Announcement. I mean, should we do it? There's the truck. I didn't get to see that on our shorts. This is, oh, you just called out Southern Juju. Working on old car, engine light garage. So it is the check engine light. We got a new car. Future update, that was five months ago, six in the Nationals, 2023. Uh, mini bike build. We got a new vehicle. Where's the Ranger? Old Honda Civic build. All right, so he's got 38 videos, the 232 subscribers. He needs uh, 268. 
make sure you go check out Engine Light Garage. Uh, he's on a lot of the lives too. You'll see him in in the in the chat. Let's put his uh, put his link up one more time. Paste. Boom. All right. Got a few left here. Got Scarlet, the four-eyed coon is up, up on the up on the screen. That's one beautiful car, let me tell you. He was just, I just saw, I just got a notification that he was at another car show. Uh, he should be in the chat here yet. Uh, I wonder how, how does it go with the car shows with that car? I guess, you, I, I bet you get a lot of people looking at that car. But John's been doing a uh, Adreno, or uh, he's been doing an Adreno project where he's he's uh, uh, making a data logger, adding a data logger to record engine vitals, vital signs, and uh, that's been a pretty neat project. I've been I, I've been enjoying that on it. And here's where he he put his uh, uh, he updated his charging system. And he put this fuse in there where you can read the voltage right up, right underneath the hood, which I thought was really cool. Yeah, see, so he gets a lot of people to stop and look and take pictures of it. Yes. Scarlet's a beautiful car. There are 132 cars at the show today. You should add 132 videos. <laughs> I'm only joking, John, but I usually get, I, when I go to a car show, I get myself a, a, a stack of videos so I have some uh, shorts to put out. That's just me, though. Uh, John also did some upgrades. He had a Max Jax, uh, one of them uh, garage lifts that you can put in. It's, he did that a while ago. He installed all the sound deadening in his car, which I thought was a really cool project. He bought the kit that was already cut to fit. Uh, this was another neat video here that he did, uh, making replacement under steering column. Uh, he had a uh, he had a burnt wire in one of the one of the plugs. It was getting hot, and uh, he found this kit that that you can uh, put together where it plugs and unplugs. I thought that was a really cool video. Cue the tail uh, lights, wiring harness, um, trunk rust removal with the 415. He talks about his year one wheels, 18, 18 no, 17 inch wheels. And he takes you for a walk around the car. There's, he was doing the dash. He re, man, he did a really nice job when he rebuilt the, the AC temp control unit. Rally dash OER tech jack put in. And the rally dash lens. He replaced the lens. So he bought this car. Um, it was all together. And he's just been doing some improvements as he goes along. Here's an update right here. The base Adreno data log is done. I created a schematic and sent it off for a design for a PCB. Hope to get it done by the end of next week. Oh, cool. Howdy, y'all. Hello, Arrowhead Garage. Brian, how you doing? So anyway, up there is John with the four-eyed Cuda. He has a whole... Uh, a whole great dis, uh, description of his channel, what he's doing with the car. You know, it's a 71 Cuda stock as a 383 HP big block, 727, 323 sure grip, 49 case. It's a two fender tag car, highly optioned. Uh, bought the car complete and drivable. I'm doing minor restoration work as well as some performance and efficiency upgrades. What does this mean? He loves driving the car and appears to be a numbers matching car, so he doesn't want to ruin it. 
So that way, there he's doing some other things there. He wants to put a different engine in, different transmission, and uh, and then keep the original. So that's John. Def that's oops. Well, I don't want to know. Let's go to home. Yeah, there we go. I don't know if I put his link up there. There's uh, John John with Scarlet 4 Icuda. Hey Max, I didn't see uh, I didn't see Heaven's Mopar here. I see JB though. JB's here. Oh, you're welcome, John. Uh, here's here's the Scarlet Four Icudas link. He's at 214 subscribers. He needs 286. So make sure you check him out. Watch his videos. Uh, leave a leave a. Uh, make sure you leave a comment. When you uh, at least leave a leave a comment and uh, a like, if you like the video and uh, a comment, because that helps that helps the algorithm out. All right. Next up is is the new guy. New guy is on the block. RT211 Racing. Trying to get to... Uh, I'm going to get back to where, um, where I was. Here we go. I'm getting there. That car is quick. Now, hang garage. Go to channel. I want to put up Arrowhead Garage's link, too. Because he has Firebird Fridays. He's got 67 Firebird he's putting together. I'm going to put his link up here. He's been a supporter of my channel for a long time now. So make sure you go check out Arrowhead Garage. And Max Wedge. You got to make sure you pick. go check out Max Wedge, too. Let's get his link up in here somewhere. We'd like to get Max Wedge down there to the no-name Nationals sometime. Oh, he's not showing up. Hang on. Oh, you're welcome there, Arrowhead. There's Max. We get Max's up here too. Max is at 231 subscribers. He keeps climbing. He needs 269. All right, we're back to so where was I? Oh, right here. Okay. <laughs> uh, yes, it's, uh, I I dread the body work, but you got to do it right. Busy with body work on the old six seven fire chicken. All right, so let me see if we can just, this, this, uh, John's saying that car is quick. This is a car he's talking about right here. Uh, he doesn't have a background picture. This one right here, Challenger Burnout. 
That's actually sykes in right there, too. All right, this here is um, an amateur foot brake bracket race, bracket drag racer, mostly just for fun. But winning one every now and then is nice, too. And also trying to get to No Name Nationals this year. Just starting this channel. So please be patient with me. I have to learn how to edit and all that jazz. I've never done this before and know nothing about it. All right, RT, we're here to help you out. This is, let's see how many, oh, he only has three longs. Long, uh, that was five months ago. 61023 down at Sykeston. Final round win. Uh, 73 Challenger time trial run at Sykes to Missouri. This uh no name national Sykes to Missouri. Uh, the Skelton Raceway is his home track. He says he only lives like an hour away from there. Car info ready for race season. Now just Mopar Joe um, believes he's gonna he's gonna win the bracket this year. So keep an eye on RT211 Racing. They've got a bunch of shorts out here. There's a fourth round, round wind in Sykeston. 70, that's a little short video there, ready for some racing. Burnout. Um, Sykeston final round. 73 Challenger, first round win. Time trial run at Sykeston. Cool. So I hope to see him there. Even if he doesn't, even if he doesn't make it through, I still hope to see him there. I'd like to, I'd like to talk to him. I have to say hi, shake his hand. So make sure you go check out RT RT twenty one RT two eleven RT twenty one RT two eleven racing with that seventy three Challenger. He's, uh, um, can't think of the word. Anyway, uh, pulling the wheel off the ground there in the, in the icon. We'll put his uh, link back up there again, just in case nobody, in case you missed it. Boom, boom. There's his link. All right. Next up, it's our last one on the list. Then we'll open the chat up. If anybody wants to jump in, Main Street Mopar. I think he gained a few since yesterday. I'm going to go look. He gained one. What's he got to say here about himself? I'm just one guy trying to get my Mopar project cars up and running. My main car is a 84 Dodge Diplomat, a.k.a. the Deputy. A 360 with an 518 transmission, 456, 8 and a quarter rear. My other car is a 86 Dodge D150, a 73 Duster, and an 85 Chrysler 5th Avenue. Got 131 subscribers, 63 videos. I saw you got a couple long form videos here. There's his diplomat. There's his Dodge truck. And then here's uh there's his duster. Only three three minute videos. Um and then the rest are shorts. There's a 440 uh tear down. Deputy, yeah, that's a good name, huh? Hey, there's Twisted Mopar Dennis. Hello, Dennis. He says hello, everyone. The deputy. Can't wait for the third no-name nationals. Old Dodge Magnum swapped horsepower. The mystery is solved. The Fifth Avenue will ride again. New content is on the way. Mopar Madness, 84 Dodge, big block. 
Will it work? Makeshift tech tip. Water pump replacement. All right, that there is Mean Street Mopar. I don't know if I put a link up there, but we'll put it back up there. Paste. Just got home, finish up my friend's duster. It's up and running. Just about all done. A little tidied up. Be good to go. Uh, is that friend's duster like called the knuckle duster? Just, you know, asking for a friend. There's Dizzy Izzy. Hey, you buck and everyone. Hope everyone's doing well. Hey, there's Renegade. Hello, Renegade. There's Mean Street Mopar's link. Make sure you check him out. He needs uh, 369 subscribers. He got 63 videos. All right. And don't forget, John Wilburn's link to our channel here is the official site of the No Name Nationals. There's his link. And then if you click on this link here, it'll take you to the... Let's see if it goes. No, it's not showing up. Let me see if I can remove this one and present the next one. Stop screen. Let me see if I can show you this one. Uh, yeah, this is it. Okay, share this one. This is where you can register or buy tickets for the third annual No Name Nationals, right? Sykeston and Strike. Sykeston Skelton Raceway Sykeston Drag Strip. And there's some uh, some goodies in there you can read. Read. There's John's uh, email address again. This is registration for Friday and Saturday. Oh, that's for Friday. Friday. Event registration. Oh, this is Friday and Saturday. Now you can do Friday or you can do Saturday. Spectator, spectator, or spectator. So Friday, Friday and Saturday, spectator, or spectator for Friday, spectator for Saturday. There's some T-shirts and stickers you can buy. There's some event flyers that you can use. And then here's the, the AHRA rule book, in case you want to know if your car is going to make it or not. Uh, past tech. Uh, and John said there will be another... Um, there will be another uh, live with Deke to go over any questions you have about uh, tech questions. And there's monkey bike rules. You can download them. So, make sure you go check all that out. Don't stop screen. Boom, I'm back. Let me, uh, let me get going here. Knock some of this stuff out here. Boom, boom, boom. Okay. All right. Thanks for posting, Buck. Oh, no problem there, John. I just keep forgetting to do the old, uh, the old, uh, the old um, link for the square site. All right, where was I here? Here, here's where I was. Where I is and could be. Paste. Okay, there's there's the link. Boom. I'll pin that to the top. All right. Okay, a little over a little about an hour. What did uh, I have the link up there pinned to the top if anybody wants to join in? Um, 
he ended up replacing all of his fuel line. I firmly believe fuel line should be replaced every four years to avoid having any issues. What if it's a hard line? Should you at least flush it out or is that just on race cars? Just curious. Oh, did I miss anybody? Unfinished project still at work. Still listening in. Dizzy sub to all the new channels. Hope you all make your 500. Okay. Oh, braided hose. Okay. Yep, Buck, you're the man. You've helped a lot of channels, including mine, I think. Yeah, we, we, uh, you were in that first year when I first got started. I remember reviewing your channel all the time. We used to play the one where you had the, <laughs> the cardboard will work for subs. Or will, will, is it will work for subs or will race for subs? I forget. You were looking for subscribers. Dizzy got a lot of his subs at the gate down there at the uh, Anonymous Nationals. Him and uh, Mopar's Mustangs and mini, 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 van, mini, mini Vans. Mini Vans. Yes, me and Ron are here. Hello, the wrong, the, it's uh, Don and Wrong English. Hey, Don. Oh, we flushed it out and then put it under pressure. It started spraying out all over under the car. Wow. How old was it? English bros. Evening, fellers. I missed, uh, I know Lars was live at the racetrack there earlier today. I missed all that. Fell asleep. I almost slept through the live here tonight. Hey, check this guy out. He got a haircut. That's right. <laughs> How are things? Hey, yeah, you know, he wants to be more like Mohawk. No, no, no. Mohawk wants to be like me. Oh, is that what it is? That's what it is. <laughs> uh, I told him last night I was going to have a full hawk next time he saw me. So uh, I had to get rid of all this. It was, I look, I looked like Backwoods John. And Cope said I looked like the biker from. Uh, uh, I can't remember. Oh, hell. Raising Arizona. He said I looked like the biker from Raising Arizona. So, yeah. What do you think, everybody? Well, yeah, it looks cool. Wow, Victor. <laughs> well, right. Yeah, well, hey, uh, it's coming up pretty close for me to s s shave off my uh, winter fur. Yeah. I usually, I usually uh, just shave my whole head and then uh, shave, just leave the beard. <laughs> so what, throughout the winter, you just shave the top? Is that <laughs> No, no, that, 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 yo, that shaved itself. Oh, okay. That's old yeah. age. Hey, you, know, you know, they say uh, grass don't grow on a busy street. You know? Oh, okay. <laughs> That's uh, enlightening. Yeah. Oh, Ron, the voice of the No Name Nationals, raising Arizona. Don was trying to help you out. <sighs> yeah. Hey, oh. uh, Dizzy, Dizzy Izzy said he was issued a scrub brush like that in the Navy kitchen. <laughs> Damn, what a dick. 
Hey, Desi. Uh, I didn't figure I'd be on long, uh, Buck. I was just coming to say hello, see how you were doing. No, it was Vic. So. No, that's fine. I, uh, I've been working on trying to get this shop cleaned up for our live stream and trying to hammer out all the details and stuff. So, uh, new guy's guitar. Hello, Tom. Hi, Tommy. My car been ignored. Yep. Yeah, yeah not lying. I've been, <laughs> I've been messing with them. I, I think I counted 16 layers of paint on that front header that I ground <laughs> off today. Was it crazy? Yeah, I think 16 layers I counted. God. But that's including primer primer layers, too. I got a, hey, if you decide you don't want to go with, with uh, Cruda, I, I have a good name for it now. Oh, do you? Yeah, Jawbreaker. Jawbreaker. You know, because all the layers. Oh, okay. Yeah. The Jawbreaker. Hey, there's uh, Blake. Hello, Blake. Wrong, wrong. Somebody saying hi, Blake. It is, Tom. Hope everything is good. No good to see through. Yes, yeah, he's yep. I had a good day. I was I was out in the garage. And you know, with uh with panel fitment, it's you know, you put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off, put it on, take it off. And then you know, that has a fiberglass fenders and hood and doors, so all that stuff is it's it's a lot, it's a lot of work to line it up, a lot of grinding and uh I had to do some welding. I had to fix some rust repair. You know, I, I don't have a whole lot of experience mechanically, but body wise, I actually, I actually have quite a bit. But um, the uh, the one thing that we did with our with our front clips, our fiberglass front front clips, was we just put on the two back ones right by the uh, doors at the top, and then try to line everything up, and then see how far out it was, and then take it off. And, okay. Know, uh, yeah, you got. Are you talking about a whole front clip? Yeah, yeah. Well, I mean, without the hood. Right. Well, mine, mine's all separate. Hmm. Right? Mm. Or, or do you have the whole thing? Well, had. I mean, this was okay. Well, five years ago. So, but hey, Doug says bitching haircut, Vic. <laughs> yeah, there's no gel or anything in it. It was just cut, so it's just kind of my regular curly mop floating around everywhere. Nobody's well, mentioned uh, anything about my new glasses yet. Yeah, you know, when I got the car, I, I I actually saw that there was rust up around the windshield, so I was going to crawl up inside. After I had the engine out. Yeah. And I was really putting strain on the defenders, so that's why I took them off. And then that's when I took them off. That's when I found a lot of the rust underneath the fenders yet too. So. Are you curing that the traditional way, or are what do you, you mean? Uh, well, that could be taken one of two ways. Uh, are you going to uh, you going to cut everything out and reweld patches, or are you going to? I did that already. Body filler. Well, I, I know you. I, I watched some of the stuff that you did with like the the bigger stuff, but I mean, if it's just a keyhole, you know, are you going to just putty it or what? No. Um... Uh, well, I just found a couple little holes in the header panel, and I, I cut a piece out, welded a piece in. You know, it was only like a half inch by about an inch and a half, you know, piece of metal I welded in there. Uh, wow. Most places I do that, too. Uh, there's only a couple spots where uh, um, uh, I didn't use didn't use putty, but I used, uh, I used some JB weld in, in a couple spots where it's like like an L shape, you know, like mainly up on the roof, like the rain gutter. Yeah, you know, I ground it all out, and I, and I just I just did some uh, some JB well down in there because that really doesn't matter there. There's no there's no it's not really going to apply because right. JB well gets too hard. Um. So, but I wanted to, I, I I did that mainly as an experiment. Experiment. I saw ham sandwich. I said experiment. 
<laughs> did that for an experiment to see how it's going to go because I thought maybe later on down the road I'd put a roof skin on it, but you know, I don't know. That Barracuda, it had a uh, he had a twin, didn't it? The Challenger, didn't it? Wasn't the Challenger the same body? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Might be able to find a skin. Love me some ham sammies, sandwiches. Yeah, me too. And as far as um, mm, chocolate, as far as dessert for Easter, I don't ever really think of Easter as a dessert type uh, holiday. You know, like mm. Christmas is always cookies and Thanksgiving is pie, either apple pie or pumpkin pie. Um, but, you know, there there isn't too many desserts that I met that I didn't like. <laughs> Yeah, I feel you. <laughs> They're pretty fond of me, too. Uh, Ron's running low on battery. See you later, Ron. Happy I'm Easter. Going, Ron. I bet you guys, uh, you really hammer it out over there at the factory around Easter, don't you? Oh, that happens months earlier. You know, like right yeah. now, like we were just doing some Christmas stuff, really, for <laughs> yeah, it's that far ahead. Yeah, like Jeez. July. Yeah, and we they just did uh, they just did like the Fourth of July stuff. It was a little while, just a little while ago. Hmm. You know, Valentine's was a, was back in October. Or, you know, September, October, they'll do Valentine's. Got to got to get ahead of it. Get ahead of it. Halloween was the year before. <laughs> Well, Halloween is another one. That one will start up now pretty soon. Like right now, the, the hot topic now would be the s'mores for summer. Oh, yeah. 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 S'mores is a big, big, big item. Um, we do a lot of those. A lot of those uh, Hershey bar, the Hershey bar six packs yeah. for the s'mores, you know. Dennis says, now you're talking. Yeah, pineapple upside down. I haven't made one of them in so long. Oh, I, I used to do mine just right in the cast iron pan. Really? Yeah. Man, I'd be yeah. afraid the chocolate would like, stick into the pores of the pan, you know? No, I was talking about pineapple upside down cake. Oh, <laughs> I thought you were talking about s'mores. I was like, that doesn't make no. any sense. No, I don't. I don't. I don't really care for s'mores. I, I imagine you're probably burned out on chocolate by now, ain't you? No, I well see with with my diabetes, I don't. I don't do. I don't do much candy. Well, I didn't know you had diabetes. Well, it's I'm right on the edge. Mm. So, you know, it runs in my family, so I got to sort of watch. So I've been uh, I've been laying off the sugar now for a while. And um, I don't well, uh, whatever you don't want, yeah, <laughs> send it. <laughs> uh, hell. Well, black iron magic, yes, it is, Dougster. I like the I like the cast iron pan. 38's looking for some peach custard. Did you ever? Did you see Thirty Eight's uh, POS racing cooking with his uh, tools? Yes. <laughs> did you? I, yeah. I thought that was cool. Yeah. That was uh, that was actually one of the first things that I saw of his. Uh, I mean, it's been a while, but that was that was funny. <laughs> well, Mohawk's uh, getting technical here. The 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 changer, which he means challenger. And the Cooter are both E bodies, but are two different bodies. The Challenger is longer and has an upsweep body line just past the door. Yeah, but that's skin deep, right? Like that's just the skin. The body of the car is the same. The frame. Right. right? They're E bodies. Yep. 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 Right. Okay. Well, you'll the outer know. goodies are, are what the difference is. The more you know. But yeah, the, the quarter panels are different, the doors are different. Fenders are different, of course. <clears throat> the charger is most definitely, definitely a B body. Yep. 
I'll stick with my key lime pie. I'm pretty much kicks off the warm months with style. <laughs> Dennis says, I don't have diabetes either until I eat sweet stuff. <laughs> God love you, Dennis. That is a good dude, man. Uh, Dizzy, I'm known for my pineapple upside down cake. I'll make a big one if y'all come by and get some. Dude, does it look like I'm picky? I will come by and I will maul a pineapple upside down. Yeah, cake. yeah you better you better make two if if, <laughs> <Right. laughs> if Doug gets there, you might <laughs> you might see some uh, some like kaiju shit going on fighting over a pineapple yeah. upside down cake. I think that would be such a great time if Doug can show up too. Oh man, we won't Especially get around, around the campfire at night. You know. Mm-hmm. I mean, it, it's it's a blast with with JB and Lars. Oh my God! Let alone uh, with you and in uh, um, Doug. Oh. Thirty eight comes over. You know, everybody stops over. Yeah. They were saying that last night. You know, the camping is 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 where it's at. It is. It's because once everything uh, settles down and everybody just settles into their in their camps, and then uh, well, visiting. Well, my only issue with staying at the track, though, would be uh, I need power because I sleep right. on the CPAP. Yeah. But aside from that, hell, I don't care. I'll sleep in. I'll sleep in the uh, in the Lancer. You know, yeah. as long as the seat goes back far enough, I'm good. But I need power. Otherwise, you know, you guys will have a 400 pound corpse in a car. So. Yeah, we don't want that. Yeah. But there's a lot of guys that stick that still stick around afterwards and then go go to a hotel later on, you know. Mm. So, I mean, that's a, that's entirely up to you. Well, we uh, uh, we're okay. Dizzy said, "Okay, it's a done deal. I'll make a I'll, I'll make a big one." Yeah. I hope it ain't like the nanner pudding last year. You know, we were talking about nanner pudding all year long, and then boom, we lost our nanner pudding. Who, who was the nanner pudding? That was uh, Auto Salvage Outlaw. Oh, ASO, yeah. Yeah, well, he had troubles he couldn't make. And then, um, because, uh, what the, oh, Lars makes a peach cobbler, too. Well, I, I, uh, I do a lot of Italian stuff. I don't do many desserts. You know, I do the basic stuff like cookies and cakes and things like that. But, uh, man, I'll make some, I'll make some kick-ass meatballs. Put them in a big crock pot. Everybody can just oh, have yeah. a few meatballs. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah. I love, I love that. That's that's one of my favorites. I can Dizzy, do both barbecue. Can... Sorry, go ahead. Uh, Twisted Mosar says if I if if he if Dennis makes the No Name Nationals, he'll make one. We can have a taste test. <laughs> you better be there, man. My wife wants your car. <laughs> Traveling, enjoy the scenic view through the Ozark. Should be there midday Thursday. Okay, we're leaving Topeka Wednesday. Cool. Yeah, our plan is to leave Wednesday too. And Dizzy says, if I say it, I'll do it. Well, I'll be I'll be over there looking for. I might have to take a nice little sliver. I, I might have to take a taste. Hey, Doug. Uh, I'm sorry. Go ahead, Buck. Yeah, go ahead. I was just reading the comments. I was just going to ask, uh, Doug, uh, you know, I know you've got to come out of Michigan. You're probably going to be on the Indiana side of Michigan. But uh, if you're on 75, why don't you swing down like uh, just north of Dayton way and we'll just take 70 all the way across. Uh, we'll caravan together. What, what, when are you going? I'm going to leave th- uh, Wednesday uh, evening or Wednesday afternoon. Wednesday afternoon? Yeah, that way we can travel at our leisure. Because, I mean, let's face it, the, the Lancer is not exactly a drag car. Right. You know. I very much enjoyed all the cookies, brownies, and sweet munchies you all have at the races. Yes. <laughs> Everybody brings something. But I was going to head out. I'm I'm going to Sykeston first this year instead of Tennessee, and uh, I'll be coming out through that way. I don't know which way I'm going to go though. Um, 
I was thinking about coming all the way out 70, all the way out to Indianapolis and then shoot down. That's, you know? that's basically my route. If you're going to be coming this way, man, we'll, we'll fall in behind you. You know, and then, but then I also thought, well, I could shoot down uh, around Cincinnati that way too and go down into like Louisville and then over. I don't uh, know. Louisville's but, a nightmare, dude. Anymore. Is it? Yeah. I, no, I, I, I try to, I, I avoid Louisville like the plague. What about Cincinnati? Well, I'm not a big fan of Cincinnati, but uh -huh. it's gotten a lot better over the last couple of years because they've widened 75 all the way through there. And okay. The worst part is the bottleneck at the bridge, but after that, you're good. And how about uh, Indianapolis? What's that about? <sighs> Indianapolis isn't, it's never been bad. It's just, it's slow, at, especially during the rush hours, of course, but uh, right. you might get 60 miles an hour through there. Uh, if you're lucky, but well, I was, I was hoping I was hoping to get going. I was hoping to be going through there. Maybe that was. I would like to get on the other side of Indianapolis. On oh, before rush hour. Yeah. Well, no, I'd like to get on the other side of Indianapolis before, uh, like on Tuesday night. Oh, you're leaving early. You're leaving yeah, early. Yeah, Tuesday, and then shoot out. Maybe stop and see Jason there, and, and and but I don't know. I I I, I might see because I came home through Lexington last time from from there. Oh, but I don't like going through Paducah. Paducah is really bad. I just don't like that. The, the roads are really terrible, and the bridges are thin. So. Uh, <laughs> Well, you can drive 100 miles out of the way to avoid KC and St. Louis. Yeah. Well, I don't mind St. Louis. Kansas City's a nightmare, but St. Louis has always been pretty good. Well, Sandy Naples isn't bad now. So, maybe, I don't know. Maybe I'll – because I would like to only have, like, th like Thursday morning only have, like, a uh, – like a four-hour drive or something. Mm. Well. So well, four hours would put you about here, wouldn't it? No, you're like eight hours away from me. Huh. Seven, seven and a half, I think it is, to Dayton. Mm. Okay. From where I am. So I was thinking if I leave Tuesday morning, I could be out there. So if I left here at eight, I should be there by you know six o'clock at night or something like that. Okay. Right. And then um so yeah, that's Tuesday. So then Wednesday, I can just leave from Dayton and shoot down. Yeah, I could probably be in in sites real close to sites in Wednesday night. Okay. Well, uh, yeah. we got. I don't, know, I don't know. know. Go ahead. Uh, when are you uh, leaving? I, I hadn't planned on leaving until about uh, I don't know five six o'clock on Wednesday. Oh, Wednesday night. Yeah, in the evening, but uh, it's all tentative at this point. Like, I mean, if if we can get Mo up here away from her mother and we can go, then I don't really have any set plans for when exactly. Yeah. So, I don't know. There's a whole lot of whole lot of time between now and then, but that but I've been looking at it here and there. So, because I. Uh, you know, every now and then I cheap out and think, well, I don't want to. I don't want to pay all the tolls <laughs> all yeah. the way across the, the the turnpike to Route 70 to Pittsburgh. Yeah. You know, with the truck and trailer that'll cost me a hundred bucks. Why not and, come uh, down? Why not come down like through uh, through the Washington uh, Washington Pennsylvania? Why not come down through that way? Uh, hit the hit the west side of uh, Ohio, just north of 70. Yeah, but I mean, to, for, for for me to get from here to there, um, you need to get. To, I, I, it's the, the only easy way is the turnpike. From where I'm at, you know what I mean. Yeah, I, I mean, yeah, I, I understand the uh, turnpike does make it a lot easier, though. Oh yeah, yeah. 
Yeah, but I could take the turnpike to Route 79 or something like that and shoot down into West Virginia and West Virginia down into like Lexington. And then I think it goes over through Louisville, right? Louisville, Kentucky. And you said uh, that's pretty bad down that way. Well, I, Louisville, yeah. But yeah. I mean, if you're if that's the only major hiccup on your trip, then you know I can't. Well, I came through Lexington last time, and that was a that was a and that was it like at night and it raining, right? And they have a whole lot of construction going on through there. Hmm. Well, St. Louis is easy breezy. What did uh, Doug say there a minute ago? Uh, I think uh, Convoy 2. See Thumper meets with me and might go cope, then meet with two hacks. So if you wanted to jump in, Beck, heck yeah. Hoping for an e epic convoy. All right, well. We'll, uh, we'll have to organize everything, but yeah, dude, I'm I'm all about it. I, uh, I there's nothing like knowing that you're driving next to a bunch of guys that are all going to the same spot. You know what I mean? Like, oh yeah, we did that. We did that the last two years. The you? first year we had like five of us. Last year only we only we had I think we had four of us last year hmm. in the convoy. Well, I had a live going on the whole time too. Did you? Yeah, while I was driving, yeah, yeah. I don't think I've seen that, dude. I gotta, I gotta go scrub your channel again. Yeah, I have a, I have like a five or six hour live going to No Name Nationals. So I, 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 I leave the week before and go to my buddy's house in Tennessee, and then I go from Tennessee over to Sykeston, from Sykeston back to Tennessee. Now this year I'm gonna go. I'm doing it different. I'm gonna go right to Sykeston, then shoot to Tennessee, and then come home. So gotcha. it's going to be one big circle. I got you. Well, uh, we do have uh, we do have an air mattress. If you and the old lady don't mind sleeping on air, well, I'm by myself. No. Oh, oh, I didn't. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Okay. Sorry. No, she, she, <laughs> no, she won't go. But uh, plus, she she works a different. She's in the medical field, so it's 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 tough for her to get. I got you. I will have. We spend a week in uh, down at her parents' house in the beginning, well, the weekend, long weekend, in the beginning of September. And then the end of September, I go to No Name Nationals. I got you. Five of us. See, yeah, Mohawk was in it. There was five of us, Buck. All right. I lost count there, Mohawk. Mohawk was with us last year hmm. in, in the convoy. Then we got... We got split up and then we caught caught back up to each other. <laughs> so then JB, uh, JB's the trash truck was getting towed by uh, Skip Star Hollow Garage. So when I caught back up to him, I had a I had to pass him with my truck and trailer. So at least I could pass the trash truck with the buck. Yeah, yes. Well, kind of. Well, kind of five of us. You and Clint. Yeah, me and Clint. Street machines turned a turned a different way, and we got split up. Gotcha. If I drive it hard, I can hit sites in six and a half hours. I'm going to take it easy this year and enjoy the sites in small towns along the way. Cool. Yeah, it'll take me price. Well, Google says thirteen hours or something like that. Thirteen and a half. But it'll probably take uh, take me sixteen the way I go because I every two hours I like to stop. Yeah, get out, out so make get out, Yeah, get out, walk around, and then you know. <laughs> back in the one man game. Yeah. What the fuck is going on in here? Not much there, Mister Tim Windsor. How are you? Good to see you there, Tim. Smack those thumbs up. Thank you, Tim. Yeah, Tim, I'll be coming back down to uh, Delaware again this year. I'll, I'll make sure I look you up. You and Unfinished Project, he's down in there somewhere, too. Sorry, I got a text. Gladys gets thirsty. Got to stop it about every two hours. Yep. Yeah, I stopped about two hours anyway just to... 
I just got in that habit and I like it. You know, it, it takes longer because it's, you know, it's, you think it's a 10 minute stop and it's like a half hour. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Yeah, I totally understand. Even if, even if I just pull into a rest area, it's still like 20 minutes, right? Yep. From when I get off the highway till I get back on, it's it's still like 20 minutes, 20, 25. And then if I go off and go to like a truck stop or something, because I, you know, towing a trailer, I just don't pull into a, uh, a convenience store. Well, we're going to be doing this pretty much shoestring, so we're, uh, we may pull off, but we're not going to probably get out for anything short of having to take a leak. Yeah. I can drive my knee on to Memphis in just about eight hours, one tank of fuel. I'll tell you what, my Chrysler 300, I got, I took that to Tennessee a while back. I did 32 miles a gallon with that little six owner. You know what's crazy is that, uh, that little rabbit that's sitting out there, that thing, on, I mean, in the city, it's terrible mileage. I, I bet you I don't get 16, right? But on the freeway, it's like the damn gauge never moves. That thing, I, I don't even know what the mileage is, but yeah. such a despair. Fun fact, I'm only four hours from Sykeston, but it, it took almost 12 to get home. <laughs> mm. That's because uh, here's the one-man the one man gang, Pinterest. I got to look that up. Yeah, why don't you share that? Because I get I get the feeling that that's a that's a kind of a funny poke at me. <laughs> oh, it does look like you. Oh God! <laughs> I got to share this. <laughs> there you go. Check it out. Yeah, you need a little dye, a little bit, a little bit of little. It should have left a little scrub on the side there. Oh my God! <laughs> One man gang. <laughs> oh, John. Well, uh, Doug, or not Doug? Uh, somebody said to post my information. I, you, you knew my channel info for. He or what? Post Vic's channel info, please. Okay, I will. Southwest Michigan. That's not Southwest Michigan. That's like Central Michigan. Come on, Doug. <laughs> there we go. Here's FRG. Yo, yo. FRG, first responder. There you go, Dizzy. Thank you, bud. Oh, no problem. Well, FRG is in the house. Hey, there's what the Leighton. Uh, here, here's, here's, here's a. Uh, who's, who's that guy? I don't know. All I see is a palm. There he is. Hello, Max. I know that guy. How are you? Yes, I know that car intimately, actually. Yeah. Everybody saying hi to Max. How's the love going? Love's going great. Bad attitude.
So what you what you working on again there, Max? Transmission. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, I thought I saw. I thought you saw a post. You put, uh, you put the high pressure seals and stuff in it, right? Or you ordered them anyway. Hey, Rich, where are you at? He's up in Pennsylvania. Oh, he's up near you. He's about 180 miles northeast, northwest of me. Yeah. Hmm. Dude, that's killer, Layton. I know you're in here, we can't see your post. So that's because uh, can't take it on the truck, hell yeah. Can't hear you very well there, Max. Yeah. I guess maybe your phone's too far away. And now he froze up. Yep. Hey, Dennis, you might not be able to see because you're on top chat. You might put it on live chat. Yeah, yeah we're yeah, here, but we're uh, here. You, you froze up and we can barely hear you. Okay. Yeah, you're, you're coming in every now and then. Oh, there you go. Yeah, we lost you now. See you, bud. <laughs> I did, and he still don't show. Hmm. Well, I should probably be doing some other shit right now. <laughs> yeah. <sighs> yeah, that's what I thought about today, because I... I, I, I worked till about four o'clock today and I said, you know what? That's it. I'm done. So I actually came in and took a nap. I almost slept through the live. Here, we got then, somebody else. Too. Hey. Hey, oh, look at that. Where, the one I showed up as soon as I turned him on. Uh, where'd Max get to? We lost him. Oh. <laughs> yeah. He's half the reason I come in because he's going to. He's going to help me put this 440 together. He kind of knows it, but I want to remind him. Okay. Wow, because it needs, the cylinders need honed and this and that, and I've never done that. Right. It's like, yeah, he seems, and he's only like an hour or two west of me, and he's got a buddy that lives halfway. Okay. It's like, hell, because he needs to do a recon and see what I'm going to end up doing with this motor. God damn, cat. <laughs> Jesus Christ well, I've been out back all day We was going to clean the garage But is it raining down your way, Buck? Yes, it started about 3 o'clock today I ain't, fucking well, with about, this. I ain't fucking with the devil cat It'll I'll be about wet. 3 hours And it, okay. it, the day's more or less shot after that there, There's Max Hey, Max I come in to say hello <clears throat> I, uh, well, fellas, I actually do have some other shit that I need to be doing. I just came in to say hello to Buck and hi to everybody else. Um, hey, Vic, love the mohawk. Your a lot of folks are digging it. I'm, I'm, I'm proud of it. Well, Ronnie's cleaning on some aluminum ribs. He said he needed a good uh, knuckle brush. <laughs> yeah. If he thinks he can reach up here and use it, more power to him. I'll just take the rim and do it over. Yeah. <laughs> Hold the rim instead. Anyway. Uh, well, anyway. Nice uh, seeing you, Beck. You too, man. You guys don't forget our, our live on uh on Monday, Monday evening. Uh Buck, we'd love to have you there too. I mean, I know you're out of the way, but just because you know you're my brother from a different mother. 
So, hey, uh, what time so Monday? In the chat. Uh, 7 p.m. Eastern. 7 Eastern, okay. okay. So, no, anyway. Mondays always suck, so that'll be a good plus. Yeah, well, I figured, you know, plus uh, a lot of the guys that are going to be doing the uh, doing the build are actually going to be in the chat, so we can yeah. hammer out the, the I know, it's like I've got a set of spindles that w I almost got enough to give that disc breaks up front, but not all of it. It's like, oh, man. Man, oh, hey, you never know. Maybe, uh, maybe uh, thirty-eight POS has what you don't, and he can throw. Yeah, them I don't have the spindles, but I got new rotors, calipers, hoses. Because hmm. I had, I was looking for dust shields for my Valiant last <laughs> yeah. summer. We put a great story. Uh, hmm. We put versus. a new a bushing kit on it. You know, ball joints, bushings, ball joints, tie rod ends. You know, the whole two hundred thirty-nine dollars spiel. Yeah, which it worked out great because I sandblasted everything when it was apart, so it's all it looks new under there. But Won't have to do that again, thank I'll God. Yeah. Fine. Well, John well, says you can find what you need. So, anyway, much love to everyone. I got a bail, guys. Be safe. I'll still be listening, but I've got cards to print. I've got diecast to cut apart. I'm, I got. I'm so backlogged right now. So, anyway, that's a good thing, right? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Don, uh, John can find what you need there, John. Okay, Vic, have a good night. Yeah, I know. John, John's been good people to me, man. I can't complain about him for nothing. Well, he said yeah. he, knows who's, he knows who has it. And they told two friends, and they told two friends, and... <laughs> Bye, FH. So how you doing, Don? It rains, so I can't, I can't gut it like I wanted to. Yeah, I was ready. I was ready to go start cleaning up the yard today, and then the rain came in. Well, I want to blow up the garage. I want to pull the the snow blower out and get it drained and run dry, and you know, get out the lawnmower, put it to the rear or to the, you know what right. I mean. Right. Get get no. set up for the summer. Well, Don, I, did, I Don, Don, Don didn't get a chance to be the first to mow this year. We heard a mower start up this last week. Yeah. <laughs> Doesn't bother me any. I don't want to fire up my lawnmower. Yeah, till I, June. Had, I had mine fired up yesterday because I had to move it out of the way to get my uh, get my fenders and hood and stuff out. Yeah. Good thing it fired up for you. It yeah, and it took a long time too. I thought, oh, this battery, this battery's gonna die. It's, I, I, come on, come on, come on! It just <laughs> it's a, yeah. The starter is saying, come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, yeah, and then uh, then I left it run for an hour after I had it started, so the battery would charge back up. Why? Well, yeah. well, I just had a starter take a shit on me. I learned what a starter sounds like. Oh yeah, it's hard. Know if the bushing or the brushes brushes wore out, yeah, yeah, yeah. but it was like it was acting like it didn't have the cold cranking amps, and it's like uh, something's not right. Went to a buddy, is like, oh, I think you might have a cell going out of your battery because it was already seven years old. It's okay. like, all right, next stop, the auto parts store. Went down there, and they're like, no, we load tested your battery, it's fine. I'm like. Give me a starter. Uh, what do you? Ooh, cat whacked on Don for nothing. <laughs> Temperamental <laughs> bitch. <laughs> hey, Max is back. Oh, there he is. Well, he does have shitty internet. But okay. We'll finish that quick. I was in and out with two receipts, 25 minutes. I want my core charged back. In the advanced parking lot. Should have videoed it. Didn't have time. I didn't have time. <laughs> I was busy. Saturday night, 7 o'clock. Mm -hmm. Close the day. Yeah, you know, I thought today was Sunday. Because I had yesterday. Oh, I was all screwed up. Yeah, Thursday yeah. on Friday and Friday on Saturday. Or, you know. <laughs> Friday on Thursday. Friday on Thursday. You're right. See, I even screwed that up. Today's trying to get through. 
Just What's that, Max? I can barely hear you, Max. Hello. Your audio is pretty low. I'm on Bluetooth on the stereo in the garage because uh, I'm going to hear you on. Well, I'm going to stop the phone. I'm getting into speakers. This phone's jumping. I'm going to choose it. I'm going to get $7.95. Terrible. Yeah, yeah. Worst one I've ever had. So you're still going to have shitty clients. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm a cheaters on Mohawk. I uh, spent yeah. most of the day yesterday at the yard work. <clears throat> Pulled the scamp out. I was just saying, hello. Any kind of Mohawk. Yeah, well, one, th one good thing about my, my the deck of my tractor is uh, I, uh, I'm, I bag all my leaves, and then the leaves like clean the whole deck off. Like in, in the yeah. springtime, when I take the deck off to clean it all out, it's real easy. Like walnut shells. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It just beats them all. <laughs> yeah. Don't be afraid to hit the heavy piles. Just go slow. Oh yeah, I, 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 it, it, a lot of times it's like a it's like a, a snow plow with leaves. Yeah, right. It's entertainment in its own regard. Yeah. Yes. It's a pain in the butt though. Oh my god. It, hey, it look what fills, I can do. It just fills the bags up so fast when when there's so many leaves. Well, um, so you get a big box. Big box of bags. Both my mowers run. Yeah. At a girl Colleen. Yeah. I wish I lived close to the wood the woods. I could just blow them all into the woods, but I have neighbors all around me. I can't just blow them into the into the well, woods. Blow them into your neighbors, or if it yeah, I, you know, well, it, Mother Nature takes care of that too. Wow. Mow it to the outside. <laughs> well, you got the prevailing wind out of the west, so if you mow it when the wind's blowing, you can inadvert. You know, it's yeah. accidentally blow them into your neighbor's yard. Yeah. <laughs> When yeah, wind gusts to fifty, got to get out the mower. <laughs> <laughs> uh, nice. I have, to, I have to turn the chute up so it just shoots it out That's into right. the air, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't turn that. Yeah, that downspout that keeps it on the ground. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, you got to play the wind. Oh, you put your heel over it and hold it up. <laughs> All right, Levi wants to know, does he eat chicken tenders and fries, or does he do chicken with cheese fries and some ranch? Tough decisions. I'd say chicken with cheese fries and some ranch. I would try both and decide that later. There you go. <laughs> I'm... Yep, just talk real sweet to the waitress, and she'll hook you right up. Yeah. Colleen says side. cheese fries. Don't forget to turn... Tip your server if it's justified, or you know. Chip your server. <laughs> yep. Hmm. Well, if they treat you right, treat them right. Well, they're working folk just like we are. I like to tip. We'll find out that my Amazon server is worth fifty bucks. Fifty bucks. Yeah. As a debtor. Okay, so you can get rid of the old, the old, uh, the old style and put a new style in. Yeah, I got a. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. All right. Okay. <laughs> so Levi's the, the server, the cook, and the dishwasher. Okay, the camera's on, but it's me. I don't mind being the cook. Because that cook never goes hungry. Yeah. Doug has a toe behind lawn rake, and I will burn my leaves. You would not believe the heat off of hard chooching leaf pile. How do you get way less, way smoke. less smoke? Yeah. Until you get that plume coming out of the middle where it's all moisture <laughs> and it's almost yellow brown because it's. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Choking for oxygen. <laughs> yeah, more or less. 
Speaking yeah, of that, I, I got to get back out here to my bonfire and try and keep it going. That rain's kind of slowing it down, so we got to keep it fed. Yeah. What are you burning uh, all the yard yard waste? Yeah, we got we got some firewood too, but we cardboard's pretty well done. <laughs> okay. We we have a tendency to save cardboard. You ever need to tuck under a car, it saves whatever you're wearing. Yeah. 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 Well, it, it makes you slide easier. All right, we're gonna Max. I'm gonna get a hold of you in the next week or two when John comes down. You know, we'll figure something out. You know, I want to come down and visit when he's down here. We'll do that. Yeah, You're going to be my main man on this rebuild anyway, so if I'm, didn't I'm going to have to hone these cylinders and all that. That way you can do a little recon of what you're getting into. I can tell you how not to do it. <laughs> I'm going to take a while. <laughs> all right. I'm going to trust your judgment. Saying I've never done this before. I was a hot rodder back in high school, and then three kids later, and I'm I'm 58 years old, you know. Working on your uncle's build. <laughs> yeah, working on my uncle's build. No. All right, we're going to say goodnight to everybody. Hey, good All right, night, good night, Don. Good night, Ron. Good night, yeah. Mr. Mark. Yeah. Let's see if I can turn my volume up. Can hardly hear you, Max. I'm going to have to do the Bluetooth on my stereo because I can't hear you when I use the phone. Oh, so it must be the phone, yeah. Didn't you just get a new phone? Yeah, that's, that's, that's what it is. It was junk. Okay. We got two for 90. Mm -hmm. Hi, BNR. So what else is happening, Max? Anything? No. No. Yeah. Did you find anything in your transmission? Or are you just refreshing it? I'm just refreshing it. Okay. Okay. I had a vibration when I downshifted. I'm driving the second vibration. That's what's going on. Don't worry. Don't worry. Just good practice. Don't worry. Don't hurt anything. Can't wait. It's been a long winter. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's almost over, though. I guess... Uh, Oh, when do they start up? In in the end of April? So what uh what what track are you gonna head to first? Okay. Yeah, I can barely hear you, Max. Keep big piece of cardboard, then showed her the benefit. Now she don't say diddly. <laughs> cardboard creepers are great. My piece are done. Hello, Doug and Mohawk. Come on live right now. Now I can hear you. Yeah, I'm over by the stereo. I'll turn the stereo off. Let's figure out how. 
I guess maybe because you're closer to the phone there, Max. Nothing at all. I could I could still barely hear you. But Hello. buddy. Hello, Metal Art. There, that's a little better, Max. Can you hear me now? Yeah, that's a little better, yeah. Yeah, see, I can't hear you now, but I'm on the phone now, not the stereo. Oh, okay. But you, you uh, can't hear so me? Right. So long. I do it like this. Let me in the background noise, I can hear you. So, can you hear me? Can you hear me, Max? Yeah, just barely. Just barely. V and R's ask me if I'm going to paint the Cuda or leave it in primer, Buck. Oh, well, um, paint would be the last thing I do. Uh, but uh, I've been putting flat black paint on it. So as I go, as I fix things, I paint it. So, but as far as putting a paint job on it, no, I have no plans for that yet. But, you know, plans can change. <clears throat> Hi, Metal Art, Metal Art Customs. But stay tuned for the move. You'll see the challenge, the challenger come out of storage when I open up the new building. Oh, cool. Yeah, I saw you were working on the new building, but I didn't get to see any of it. And then the other day you had a live going on, and I went to jump in, and then I worked second shift, and then uh, I got called to a call, and I never got to it. But I'll stay tuned and uh, check things out. He's one of our neighbors there, Max. He's over there in Ohio. Oh. That was good. That was good. Um, yeah, I'm losing you again, Max. I'm gonna get off here and just go back to the chat. I gotta build a fire and finish the chainsaw and stuff. All right, and, uh, I'll be around here. I turn All right, Max, <laughs> thanks, thanks for stopping in. I'll have to give you a call. I, and uh, and here in the near future. Mac. Metal Art Customs, that's Mac. You've got a lot of cool stuff going on over there. Let me put his link up. He bought an old dealership that he's re re remodeling. I met uh, Mac over there at the Busted Radio Garage. There's Metal Art Customs. Metal Art Customs. Link. You want to go check them out? You're welcome. That's a shame we couldn't hear Max. Uh, but that's technology for you. Huh? Sometimes it works, sometimes it don't. All right. Here's that one on the dashboard. I see I got a couple more comments I gotta answer. <laughs> I put a I put a video out the other day about the I dropped the that four hundred block off at the off at the, the machine shop and I said step one, drop the block off. Guys guy sent me a 
a message that says step one buy a Cadillac. <laughs> he doesn't know me very well, do he? But I um I like Cadillacs. I never use StreamYard. Um, well, StreamYard's free up to 20 hours in a month, all right? And then with StreamYard, you have a little bit a uh, little bit more uh, functionality, I would say. Step two, accept disappointment. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, with StreamYard, uh, let me see if I could show you. See with StreamYard, you can go in here and you present and share the screen. You can share the screen too. And then uh boom, I can share Metal Art Customs channel. I do channel reviews, that's how I do it. You know. You can also uh you can also play a video too. You know. I don't know if the sound is on. Good morning, everybody. Uh, I know last night I said I was going to have a live, but uh, so that's that's one of the reasons I use uh, Streamyard, and um, I, I can also uh, get out of there and let me see if I can uh, bring something else up here. Pictures, camera roll. Let me see if I can. No, not that one. Pictures. Let's go save pictures. Right. Boom. Um. Let me go back one. <laughs> yeah, we guess. I guess we can do that one. And then uh, I can present. And. Um, Oh, I thought I had it open here. I guess not. So I will knock. No. I was trying to share some pictures and it it wouldn't let me. Anyway, that's why I use that. I have to definitely check it out, yeah. When are you gonna have us take care of the mule for you? Roger that. We'll have to discuss that. But anyway, that's why I, I use that. And then, and then of course, um, I can pin my link to the top, and then, then people can join in with me just like Max did. And uh, Funk, Vic from Functional History is done. With, uh, with the regular YouTube live, you can't do that. But they also have a... Uh, like a paid paid subscription for StreamYard too, where you can do even more because you can do banners too. Uh, here's one. That's twenty twenty. That was last year's banner. <laughs> That's like a ticker tape you can do. You can create banners in private chat. Uh, Back to comments. So, anyway, yep, I've been doing this so long, I just make it look easy. <laughs> All right, where we're at, we're a little over two hours. We've got 23 people. What do you think? You, know, you want me to stay on a little longer, or, or, or shall we shut her down? <coughs> well, BNR says, I finished today replacing a 2018 Chevy Duramax L5P high pressure injection pump today. Well, not a fun job. Step by step, I printed off 30 pages of all data. 
crazy high pressures near 30,000 psi peak. 30,000. Wow, that's crazy. I thought that I think my my six all has like 3,200 or something, not 30,000. What the hell are they containing it with? Man. 30,000 seems high. That's like dangerous. Hey, Junkyard D. Hey, Bucking Friends. Hey, Bucking Friends. Huh. Made a short test drive today. No documentation. Any running PSI dark nights. No P5. I'll ride the boat as long as she floats. All right, Dugster. Yes, but wow, 30,000. And that's like dangerous pressure. You know what? Thirty thousand seems like a like a typo. Uh I only seen a little. I only seen uh, a little bit of it, um, because I was working in the garage all day, and I just, I just, uh, <laughs> I fast forward it until I got to the place where he started started Homer today. So it's cool that he uh, that he got her fired up. 29,800 PSI peak. Wow. Wow. Max says he's back. Never buy a Nokia 300 phone, especially don't buy two junk, he says. Well, thanks for the info there, Max. Thanks for doing the research. Howdy, y'all. Howdy there, Destroyer 1320. Yeah, it was so loud that it was blowing out the mic. Awesome. The motor, the motor is a bomb. Hey, JB's finished on the grill now. He can now he can type. Yes, the angry bear, Homer. Eric, check your email, brother. D thirteen twenty. Anything for you guys. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Max. <laughs> oh, Junkyard D was on the live with BRG when he fired it up. Cool. He said he was going to do a live with it. And then uh, for some odd reason, I checked my phone. And then I saw that he was, uh, they saw that he had it on there. And I, I just rolled through till I saw it fire up. Uh oh, Don Chero is packed up. Jezebel is packed up. Lots of shipping to do Monday. Yeah, Junkyard D was in the chat. I'll do a first fire up and break in live when I get back to the. BBC, big block Chevy. I need to get out of working six days a week, but Sunday's only off. Money not an issue. It's free time now. Bingo. Well, I've been working overtime just to, to <laughs> pay for my habits. And uh, so I haven't had... Haven't had much time this week. I this weekend I have off, so that's why you haven't seen me live because I've been working. Um, so, uh, but I usually work overtime for a few weeks, then I take a break. So I'll be in and out here with the lives. Had to watch later. I'm testing cheap. The cheap China servo for you guys too. <laughs> yeah, let us know how that works out for you. At least that one's easier to change if it goes bad. You don't have to pull a whole transmission.
Oh, Colleen got the notification 30 minutes late, 38 minutes late. Wow. Wow. Mac worked seven days, seven days a week, generally 10 to 13 hours every day. He's putting the work in. I remember those days. I try not to do that much anymore. Like even today, I get out to the garage around nine o'clock this morning. I played around and did a few things up until like four o'clock. And then I said, you know what? That's enough. I got to remember that not everything has to be done today for me anyway. That's, that's how I have to look at it. You know, the stuff I'm doing is hobby stuff. I don't, I don't have a, a deadline to get a car to take to No Name Nationals. I already have one, a, a run and driving car. So, I mean, I would like to take the crew to there, which I might, I might just get it there. Need free time to visit machine shops in person, small shops, famous shops out of Illinois. Cool. Oh, he has enough money to put enough machine three Pontiac V8s. Cool. Oh, hello, Beat. I'm I'm Buck. I just got home. I'm Beat. Metal Arts in his 50s. Not like when I was younger. I'll tell you what. <laughs> This thing here still thinks I'm 17 and I can jump around and climb this and that and run around and I can't. I find out right away. Sansui. There's the Dub 350. Yep, I have some. Uh, I, I finally got enough money put away. Took that block to the machine shop. So we'll see what goes on there. I have enough money to do what I, I think I want to do. Yeah, excuse me. Then we'll find out. I already got a got that used engine in the crew to so. Hopefully we can get that to the get that to the track this year. Working on the front fenders and hood and now and all that stuff now. Get that all back on there. And then uh, I just need money now. I need money for tires. Tires, uh, radiator, um, battery cable. And then uh, all the engine work. Yeah, that was another reason I didn't like working on big trucks because I <laughs> think so, uh, so high up in the air. But yeah, the topside creeper is, I, I, I would love to have one of them if I, I mean, if I, if I was back in the mechanic business, I would definitely have one of those, especially for these trucks that are lifted and stuff. But even like my, my F-350, that thing's high in the air to get up in there and work on things. It ended up being 10 G at the machine shop for my most I ever spent. And Chris told me he has over 30 grand, 30 grand in Homer. Wow. Oh yeah. Them numbers add up fast. I have a deadline. Everything else needs to stop popping up. Flooded backyard, car accident, rain most weekends. Persistence pays off, they say. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I always say, what you think you need times two, plus 30%. Ah, what you think you need times two. So if I think I need $1,000, I need $2,000, and then add another 300 Okay, I'm picking up what you're putting down. My last job was seven days, 84 hours a week, four months at a time. Then we were slow, work eight hours, seven days. <laughs> 84 hours a week, wow.
Keep at it, Colleen. I will, FRG. I love the Class 7, 8 diesels to work on. Just climb on top of them. 11R22 fire. Five tire stand on it. Yeah. 2600. <laughs> Well, that's more than that's more than thirty percent. Oh, thir okay, thirty percent of the two times two. I got you. I was thinking thirty percent of the of the original thousand. I got you. Are you smelling what I'm stepping at? Yeah, I'm smelling it. I did see that there, 162. I didn't watch the whole video, though, because I was at work. But I saw the next saver. I built one in my videos. FRG, good adding. I figured 5K was 10K. It still needed all the bolt, bolt on now that it's together. Yes. <laughs> Doug, he's burnt out in seven days. I better lower I better lower my expectations then if it's times two plus thirty percent. I have to do a little uh swap meeting. Uh oh. FRG's down a cylinder. He's missing bad. I'm all done working 50 to 70 hours a week. Found out I was killing myself. Government was making even more money off me. Yes. Yeah. I agree with you, Dennis. I used to do that. You know, I used to do side work all the time, too. Uh, I stopped all that. FRG's heading home. You couldn't pay me enough to work those hours, Doug. In the end, I work for me and my goals. That's right, 38. You tell them. Uh-oh. I think I'm going to buy myself a new... A new McLeod 30 pound billet, billet steel flywheel for the 70 Trans Am. Undecided on the clutch yet. <laughs> That's the first time I ever heard that one. <laughs> Up to my ears and side work, I can't even fart. <laughs> okay. Well, cut it out, will you? You'll find out. Yeah. I'm glad I don't do it anymore. I help out some friends here and there, but um, nice to do it all the time. I help out the neighbor here now and then, but I was just up at my buddy's house and wired up his plow and stuff like that, but, you know. Nothing where um, now even the neighbor was asking me about his heater core. I'm like, no, <laughs> I don't want to do that, <laughs> especially in a Ford truck. I mean, everything's got to roll out of that thing. Dealers around here are not wanting to work on seven or seven year or older car and shops. Have a two month wait. Wow. This email have his Mopar four inch backspacing. There's no time for side work. No, you have to make time for side work. I mean, even if you are working. Uh, 
Tired. <laughs> you know, in a couple more minutes, then I'll shut her down. Yes, that's exactly right, there, Doug. You have to be happy at what you're doing. I believe so. That's I believe you do. I'm not, you know, like the job I have now. I really like. Um, there's a lot of. Uh, BS that goes on, but no matter where you go, you're going to have that. Or, yeah, first responder I heard New York was cutting off at three years old. Wow. He's down in Georgia. Georgia. I think the, the northwest corner of Georgia. I think that's where he's at. Well, that should be better for the side, for the, the smaller shops. It's called work for a reason, but it ain't slavery. <laughs> yeah, they wouldn't call it a job if there was no work involved, right? I think that's how that goes. Williams, Georgia. Oh, you're welcome there, 162. Thanks for stopping in. I always said if you don't, if you can't be happy and enjoy what you do for a living, figure out what to do about it and make a change. That's right. Have a happy Easter there, Scarlet. Car shows take it out of me. Introvert in the wild, yes. <laughs> Plus, he's down there in the heat. He's down there in Florida. So, I know the heat takes it out of me anymore. I used to love just sitting in the sun, but so everybody's saying, night to Scarlet. I did, and now I restore and build custom vehicles in my own shop. and never been happier. Ten years now? Oh, ten years. Wow, cool. Happy Easter, everyone. Emissions and electronics issues all the time. Yeah, yeah. What's he say here? John Deere wanted six hundred dollars without shipping for or tax for a hydraulic cylinder. It's a welded together and not serviceable. I popped it on the lathe, opened it up, and replaced fifteen dollars in seals. Going to weld up video soon. Oh, cool! Try not the parts cannon. <laughs> yeah, 
you know, I moved out of the truck business before death. Now the tractors, I work on habit. Wow, even the tractors now. Cool. All right. All out of water. Time to go, time to roll out. Plus, I'm tired. Been a long. So I want to thank everybody for coming in tonight. Uh, I want to thank everybody in the chat and, uh, and checking out all the the no name national contenders under 500 subscribers. So uh, keep an eye out. I'll, I'll let you know when I'm having lives. I should be uh, should have another one next weekend. Um, and then, uh, uh, like I said, I'll make sure I put a post up when I have one. So with that, happy Easter, everybody, and uh, have a good night. See y'all soon. End stream. Boom.